Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Okay, some of you concerned that I'm actually driving while I'm talking on the phone. So let's just get clear here. First of all, I'm normally stuck in traffic. So at the moment I'm stationary and I'm talking. And even if I'm moving, it's moving very slowly. So I look forward like that. And then I look at the camera and I look forward like that. So don't be concerned or too concerned about my safety, but I am happy that you're all very concerned because I know, God forbid, if something happened, then driving markets would have to be suspended. So at the moment, I'm driving very carefully, driving forward slowly in the traffic, looking at the road, looking at you, and that's what I'm doing when it comes to making these videos and YouTubes. So you don't need to be concerned as such. Uh, just let's discuss, so now I'm looking at the road and the lights now have changed to red. So now I'm stopping and looking back at the phone. So the markets have uh, reached all time highs. Uh, they're probably going to push higher. However, you're probably in a good position here to set up a few shorts for to catch the uh, correction or to catch the profit taking which is more likely to happen when it comes to the indices when the markets have risen so much there will be some profit taken so it's worthwhile probably setting yourself up with some short positions to capitalize and exploit the fact that there will be some profit taking so the earnings season's in full swing a lot of companies are coming out with good solid earnings the banking sector's up You've got all the tech sector up, the Nasdaq and the S&P reached all intraday highs. You've got petrol in the UK running at an all-time high. So let's talk about oil again. Oil is, in my opinion, in my opinion, is only going up. It's probably going to hit the 100 to 102 dollar barrel. Well, from there, it's a psychological number, so it might come back a bit. However, oil is only going up. I would suggest, or in my opinion, look at taking a long position in oil and running it all the way through to 100 or 102 dollars a barrel whereby at that level there might be a slight pullback because it's gone up significantly and global demand is huge for oil at the moment also you've got gold which is pushing higher you're probably going to look at the 1815 1815 1820 level before that pulls back however if it breaks through that level then the next level will be 1850 to 1860 on gold also silver is going up silver is a great one because it's probably one of the most undervalued commodities out on the market so that is a long-term hold silver not a daily hold and you could see that going anywhere to 35 to 40 dollars an ounce as regards silver um, treasury yields were also up yesterday in the US Treasury um, you've got a lot of nervousness out there so with inflationary pep uh, the inf inflationary let's get that right say it again with inflationary pressures building up then it is likely that the interbank and the short-term interest rates uh, will slightly go higher cost of borrowing will go higher and therefore people will look to get a solid return on their money as opposed to speculative money in the stock market which is one of the reasons why the high-tech sector is the first to fall when there is a threat of inflation or rising interest rates because the high-tech sect high tech sector is can't get my words out a high-tech sector nasdaq is very speculative and therefore if it's if there is a chance of getting solid return on your money in a bank account or interest rates then people will pull out of the more speculative stocks like the nasdaq and high tech and they'll put it into solid investments like treasuries and bank accounts that's one of the reasons why in the future if interest rates go up then something like the nasdaq will be significantly impacted by it what else have we got going on we've got a budget in the uk which is really insignificant and can have little impact maybe by springtime you might feel some of the lower levels might feel some of the benefits but that's not really going to impact anyone at the moment you've got a new variant out in the uk which is not out in the uk it's just the uk's report of the new variant so let's see how damaging that could be um, I don't think there's going to be any major lockdowns as far as uh, Corona is concerned. I don't think the economies could absorb another lockdown, but we'll see where that goes. Um, what else have we got? A couple of uh, warnings all the time. I say only trade with regulated firms. Do not trade with non-regulated firms. If you need to get hold of me, I forgot to mention I've got Instagram. So Instagram is Valensky Mayor. Uh, I've got LinkedIn. 
You can search me on LinkedIn, WhatsApp, uh, YouTube. You can comment on the YouTube, etc., etc. I got some good comments yesterday from YouTube. Thank you very much for those people who replied and gave me some guidance as to what and how I should improve the YouTubes. Okay, so I will work on those. It's not happening today, but thank you very much for the feedback. Any more feedback is more than welcome. Uh, when you trade, trade carefully. Remember, markets are at all time high. So if they're all time high, look and be cautious. You don't want to get caught out at the top. This is May Valensky with Driving Markets Stationery at the moment. That's why I'm looking at you. Have a good day. All the best.